good morning. So um, I'm just making, a, putting a date on this um, because it's part of my journal. Um, so we're the 2nd of June, 2024, and we're going to get a giant rabbit. Well, it's, it, the other one fell through, but it's fine. Um, we went back and had a look and there was another one that was nearer, even nearer to us, which is about an hour away. And I contacted her and she's got two girls and four boys. They're um, Flemish giant rabbits cross giant French lop. So they're bigger than the continental and they are adorable so she sent picked loads of pictures and i saw a girl that i really liked and i've seen a boy that i really liked um he's got he's gray but he's got some little tan markings here and near his eyes um so they're eight weeks old so the other one would have been five months old if I got it. And they are just adorable. So, names. If I get a girl, it's Agatha. For Agatha Christie, because I love Agatha Christie. And if I get a boy, it's going to be Bramwell. As from the Brontes. Um, I'm just... And the sun is shining. It's like Flo's looking down on me and she's given me a beautiful day. And after the other one falling through, still making sure that I could get one today. Um, so, yeah, really, really happy. So just waiting for Abby. She's due any time now. And we're going for a McDonald's breakfast, which I haven't had it, I love McDonald's breakfast, but it's been oh ages and ages since I've had one. So, yeah, they say the girls are coming too. They're so excited. And then we're going to go and get Baby Bunny. So, watch this space. Next, I'll be in the car and I'll show you a bit of the journey um, going on to there. So, I will see you in a while. Bye. Sorry, Andrew, we're showing, <laughs> showing you some countryside. <laughs> oh! It's a very bumpy countryside. It's Abby's driving. <laughs> We've got the girl who's in the back. Say hello, girls. Hi, Evie. It's all hello. right. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> oh, look, this will be better. Oh, yeah. we're coming up. She's Betty. Um, that was it, Edna Abby. What she's keeping? Yeah. So the lady's keeping the little girl Edna. This is the other little girl. I've chosen the girl. She's in the carrier now. And over here. Can I go in there and take her? 
Um, not sure. This is Albert, the daddy. And look at the baby boys. Aren't they gorgeous? So here's Aggie. She's just being well, three quarters of her salad. I think she enjoyed it. There she is. Oh, that went down well. So hey, we just got a little variety going on there to eat. Just show you. It's got carrot, the toilet. Food. Got another little toy for you to nibble on. There. So you can see. Yeah. Go back, go back, go back. It's really big. And apparently they don't stop growing till they're 18 months old. And she's eight weeks. But Peach is really lucky. She's been going up to the cage, wagging her tail. But I love her. She is. So it's welcome home, Maggie. Hello, so I hope you enjoyed the bit of filming and um, let me know what you think of Agatha and uh, shortening name also Aggie. So, um, oh, it's just been a lovely day. After the last couple of days, this is just, no, yeah, it's just no words. Um, yeah, sorry, yes, I'm. It's a combination of um, still going through losing flow, but then an emotion about happy about Agatha. So. Um, I think Flo would have been happy for me to get her. Um, yeah, it's just been an amazing day. The lady was so lovely. Um, she welcomed us when she was doing a bit of gardening when we arrived. Um, and the setup in her garden for them, she could tell she loved them. Um, the carpets, the bears, the soft toys, and I said to her, "Oh, I need to have a soft toy for Agatha." And then the girls piped up, "Nanny, we'll give you one each." And Nabby said, "They've got loads, Mum." So they're both going to sort out a soft toy to have for Agatha to snuggle up with. Um, but yeah, there was bears. Well, you saw some of it. And they each had their own little house. And I said to Abby, I need to keep an eye out for um, a wooden Wendy house, um, which I can have a run onto that. So when she is out in the garden, she'll have a little house too. So I, yeah, I want to keep an eye out. I'm going to look on, keep an eye on the market and Facebook for a little house for her for the, when she's running around in the garden. Um, but it was just amazing. She handed me the boy rabbit first, the one I had my eye on, and Agatha's got the same markings as him. Um, and he just snuggled to me straight away. Um, then I say I saw this the little girl, which is Agatha. And 
straight away she snuggled to me. Another one she picked up for um, Abby to hold was skittish. Um, she was climbing up here and trying to go on Abby, Abby's back. But it was really hard to decide which one to have because they were both adorable. But they're all adorable, but I just connected. Um, and in the end, I thought I'm gonna get gonna get a girl. Um, and I well, I, I I've had angoras rabbits before. I've had rabbits, normal rabbits, um, and I've found that the girls are very um, not socialised as much as a boy. And I checked with her and she said, no, I, you know, the girls, as long as you're giving that time with them, then they will be socialising with you back. They'll love all the attention. And because I'm here all day, well, most of the day, time, um, she's going to get that. Um, so that's why I chose her in the end. Otherwise, it would have been... The boy Bramble, what I called, would have called Bramble. So, this is going to be a lovely start to the week. And um, I've bought her a brush, um, bought her some other treats, um, bought some more greenery, salad, um, bits of salad and that for her. And she said to give her it every other day. So you'll see she's had today. Um, and she's at three quarters of it already. She's just eating a bit more, so it might all be gone now. Um, and she's at her pellets. Um, I'll keep her on the same food that the lady has give is giving her. Um Abby did buy me a different variety, but I'll give that back to Abby for her bunnies. Um, but yeah, we got a, a little flower. Um, it's like a loofah, a carrot, like a loofah. And uh, well, you've seen, you've seen one in there and she'll be having her teddy bears. So I'm going to leave. I'm not hand, handing her any more today. I want her to settle in her environment. Um, but tomorrow I will, and I'm going to be grooming her every day so she gets used to that. And it's just her, her connecting with me for a little while now, and then it will be the taming. I've also got a little harness for her and a lead, and on the heart on the back of the harness is um, a little carrot. So, yeah. I am so happy I've got her and it's took many years to get her. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this and um, hearing the giggles in the car. I've actually got a sore throat through so much talking because <laughs> I'm not used to talking so much because most of the time I'm on my own. Um, yeah, so I really hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, let me know what you think of Agatha's name. So, um, I can't think when you'll see me now. I'm not sure if I'll post anything in the week. I'll see how I'll feel. Because I've just done all the vlog maze. But next Saturday we're going to London. So there will definitely be a vlog all about that. For you to see. I'll take you on my journey with, with me and Abby. Um, so yeah, you might get snippets. I might do some filming of Aggie this week and show you. So anyway, I hope you've had a lovely day as I have. So thank you so much again for all the beautiful messages about Flo and that. It's meant a lot to me. Um, and thank you, we, and now at 420 subscribers yay 
Thank you so much. It's brilliant. I, I just, I'm so overwhelmed. It's absolutely brilliant. So I hope you continue. So I'm wobbling. I'm holding you in my hand. I hope you continue to enjoy them. So I'm going to sign off now. So take care. Thank you for watching. Bye. Mwah.